Hello friends. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the factor differentiation. So in the last lecture, we discussed that the factor algebra is a very effective tool to express the physical law very properly and distinctly. So this factor differentiation, it is a part of factor algebra. So in this section, we are going to explain the factor differentiation and also using some example, we can express that example using the factor differentiation. Now, the factor differentiation. So what is factor differentiation? So it is a factor, it means it has magnitude as, as well as direction. So if a factor which has magnitude as well as direction and it changes with the time, then we can say this is the time derivative of that vector. And this vector differentiation also used in electromagnetic theory. Now we are using some simple example for suppose velocity and acceleration. And using this ex example, we express that factor differentiation. So suppose there are two surfaces, okay. I'm assuming this is S1 and this is S2. And this is a point and this is O and we can draw this is O to P. And this is Q. So I'm assuming this is position vector R. And OP is the position vector and this is the R. And this is R plus delta R. And this is changing with respect to time. Okay, so this is that that point is our delta r, and this is delta r by delta t. So this is a point, and that op is a op is our position vector at time t with r. Okay, so we can say like this: let the position of the particle at any time t and specified by the vector r. Okay, and now that op is our position vector so initially my position vector is r at time t okay so now if my time changes or if my time increases then what is my position vector okay so suppose if my time increases then my new position is r plus delta r at time in which time then our time is also changes it is because it is new time now t plus delta t so that t and that t plus delta t is our change in time and with the change in time our position is also changes and that new position is r plus delta r i think you understand and it's changing with respect to time there so you can say that this is the delta r by delta t okay so here it is written that as the time increases the particle and its position factor changes its direction and magnitude to t plus delta t and r plus delta so we can say that earlier it is op it means its position vector is r and its time is t and then when the time is changes to new time is t plus delta t then its magnitude and direction also changes and that new magnitude and new direction you can represent as a r plus delta r now we know that the velocity is equal to displacement for time okay so we can write the displacement is like this displacement equal to we know that our final position minus initial position so what is the final r plus delta r that we find in the last next uh, last slide minus the initial one is r then t plus delta t minus t so if i subtract this thing then we can get what we get delta r by delta t so we can say that our v equal to delta r by delta t so this is this velocity is in terms of differentiation calculation okay factor differentiation now we also explain uh, express this factor differentiation it means velocity in terms of cartesian coordinate so we know that r equal to 
i cap x this is the position vector then j cap y plus k cap z okay so what is the formula for velocity velocity is equal to d r by dt so we can write like this uh, dx by dt i cap plus dy by dt j cap plus dz by dt k cap okay also we can write like this this is uh, so you can write vx i cap vy j cap plus vz k cap so this is our velocity in terms of cartesian coordinate okay so actually here we are just express this velocity in terms of cartesian coordinate so now we uh, we are going to write how we uh, write this acceleration in terms of vector differentiation so we know that uh, that acceleration is equal to what is acceleration acceleration is equal to a equal to d square r by dt square and also you can write like this dv by dt so this is our acceleration in terms of our vector differentiation now we can write this acceleration in terms of cartesian coordinate so we can write like this this a vector is equal to d square x by dt square i cap plus d square y by dt square j cap plus d square y by dt square k cap and also you can write like this because this is the rate of change of distance per time so this is the formula for velocity so dx by dt i cap d v y by dt j cap d v z by dt k cap and then we can write like this a equal to because the rate of change of velocity with respect to time this is the acceleration this is a x i cap a y j cap plus a z k cap so this is our acceleration in terms of the vector differentiation now we can write like this uh, the force is m equal into d square r by dt square also you can write like this we know that m into d v by dt so basically this all example are just how we express or how this uh, velocity force acceleration using that vector differentiation technique so i think now you understand uh, the concept of vector differentiation so thanks for watching my video Please like and subscribe my channel to get the more updates.